So I kind of have a little bit of a confession to make. Those of you that know me won't be too caught off guard for this, but for those that don't know, there are some pretty common heroes that I'm not a fan of. Now, kind of hear me out on this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and say who these characters are, and then I'm going to get into my reasons why. It's not for the reasons you think, so just bear with me. I don't really like what I consider to be Boy Scout superheroes. And these would be people like Superman, or Captain America, or... Son Goku from Dragon Ball Z. I know he's not really a superhero, but we're just going to throw him in there for pretty much the same reasons. So, uh, stick with me for a little bit and we will get into the reasons why. So, do you have a minute to talk about Boy Scout superheroes? <music> Greetings, friends, and welcome to another exciting episode of Matt's Minute. So, let me kind of explain myself a little bit, because I know I just kind of dropped a big bomb. When I say don't like, I don't mean they are terrible heroes. I actually have a lot of respect for all of the heroes that I just mentioned, Superman, Captain America, and Goku, um, because they're, they're great heroes. I mean, can you imagine DC Comics without Superman or the Justice League? Like, sometimes some of my favorite Justice League moments have happened from Superman. And Captain America is pretty much the same thing. Can you imagine the MCU without Chris Evans' portrayal of Steve Rogers? Like, no, it's, it's amazing. And even in the comics, there's so many things that he does. Well, not Chris Evans, but Captain America. But yeah, I, I, I do really like these characters. However, and I respect them. Let me get that clear. I do respect these characters a lot. You will just never see them on my top personal top 10 favorite heroes. Y if we had to do a most influential outside of my top 10, then yes, they would definitely be on that. There's no denying it. But in terms of my personal, they would not be on that. So let's go ahead and get into some of the reasons why, because I feel like there's some questions being dropped here, and, and I think it's probably best to get to them. So the first reason why I don't really like, I don't even like to say that I don't like them. It's just they wouldn't, I don't like them as much as most people. Let's leave it at that. The reason why I don't like them as much as most people is because they're a symbol of almost perfection. Of, like when you see Superman in comics, people look up and they feel at ease, which is great. That's awesome. But they have to maintain that symbol. And that's pretty much all they are in comics. I mean, let me retract that. It's not all they are in comics. But it is a big part of who they are. And symbols don't really fall as much. I mean, you see Superman and Captain America and, just, and Goku struggle, no doubt. And this one doesn't really apply to Goku as much as it does the other two. But... They definitely have their own struggles that they go through and they, sh with their own identity and stuff, but it's not as compelling to me as other heroes that have flaws that they are working through consistently, like Spider Man or Batman, Nightwing, um, just to name a few, or heck, even throwing Green Lantern there. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's just my opinion on that, is symbols aren't as compelling to me. Now this next one mostly applies to Superman and Goku, and not as much Captain America, since he's not as powerful as them. But usually, when these heroes come in, they save the day and wait till the last possible second to do so. This is especially true with Goku. I mean, look at the Cell arc. When did he even fight? He fought Cell at the very end. He really didn't fight the androids, he was out of commission. He didn't fight semi-perfect Cell or even imperfect Cell. He just showed up at the end, fought, and then said, okay, Gohan, you're up. Like, he didn't do anything. Even in the Boo arc, he was dead for most of it. So, 
I think that's especially true for Goku. And Superman, yeah, to an extent does that, not nearly as bad, but I mean, I hate to reference the Justice League movie, but in the Justice League movie, that's kind of what happens. But also in comics, generally speaking, they save the big man till the very, very end. And I think, actually, I'm not even gonna say generally, because that's not 100% true. But sometimes they save the big man till the very, very end, or he's off doing something else and then comes in to help save the day at the very end. So, I get why. They're just so powerful that you can't usually throw them into the plot and have it make sense. Especially, like, in Superman's case, where he has non-superpowered individuals like Batman or uh, Green Arrow there who also have to be important. So, it does make it harder for the writers. I, tr I get that. But... I don't know, that, that just, I'm nitpicking a little bit, but just, yeah, that's kind of a flaw that I have with it. The third point's pretty short and sweet. Sometimes they just make things too easy. You know, to be, again, mostly with Superman and Goku, they just, they're so strong that they just make everything too easy, and so the writers have to go out of the way to give them a challenge when... It's the challenge is really only for them because not everyone else is strong enough to even really contribute. Again, this is mostly the case in Dragon Ball Z, but you know, just something to throw out there. Final reason being, I just don't relate to them. You know, I relate to characters with much more obvious flaws like Spider-Man or, you know, people like that because their flaws are out in the open and that's something that they have to work through which you know as a normal human being clearly I am flawed and I think I just relate to those kinds of heroes more than Superman and Captain America who you know they're, they're not as well known for their flaws I mean clearly they have some I mean everyone knows kryptonite everyone knows Steve Rogers you know got the super soldier serum and was a normal human before then. So, I don't know, it's just, I feel like for them, I just, I just don't, I don't relate to them because I just relate to heroes with more obvious flaws. And they, like, kind of like I said in the first point, they're more, they're, they're more of a symbol. So it's not as easy to see their imperfections as it is for other heroes, but, then again, you don't really have to look that hard to see their imperfections if in the comics. You know, Captain America did was a big contributor into why Civil War happened. And Superman, well, have you played Injustice? Because, uh, yeah, that dude was pretty flawed. I know it was another multiverse, but whatever. Anyway, so, I don't know. I, when, I, when I see those heroes, I see perfection. I see what people should strive to be like. I see the prime of what a superhero is. And that's great. We need that. I am not saying we don't need those kinds of heroes. I'm just saying I personally don't relate to them as well as other heroes. Hopefully this makes sense. I tried to make it make as much sense as I could. It's really kind of hard for me to express, so if it feels like I kind of repeated myself at times, I probably did. You know, it, but thank you guys so much for joining in today. I really do appreciate it. This has been a f interesting topic to get off my chest. I feel like I kind of needed to, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest content. We really do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you all next week.